Located in the west of Ghana, the port city of Takaradi is a hub for transportation businesses. It's here that Payan Marfa runs her women-only trucking company, Ladybird Logistics, as well as empowering women in a male-dominated sector, employing female drivers brings other benefits to her business. I think the female drivers are more cautious. They are really careful. Um, maybe it's a female thing because we are always thinking about the children that we have at home and making sure that you don't want to take certain risk. Every day in Ghana, hundreds of truck drivers take to the country's ramshackle roads to transport petrol to mining sites. It's a job that's traditionally been done by men. A 2014 survey found that just 0.3% of Ghanaian women were employed in the transport and storage sector, compared with 7.7% of men. With over 20 female drivers now working at Ladybird, the reaction from other companies and from male drivers has been positive. They're good drivers. We've not had any major in incident to date. So I think now there's a lot of respect from um, the men, and they realize that these ladies are good drivers. Following in the footsteps of many of her family members, Abigail Amoa was already working as a trucker. But when she heard about a new company employing exclusively female drivers, she jumped at the chance to get involved. For her, it's not just about doing a job, it's about becoming part of a company that is trying to break down gender stereotypes in Ghana. So I feel so proud, because it helped me a lot. So I'm encouraging other women. You see, we have companies, but it's all female. That was the first time in, I think even, not Ghana, the whole world. So I'm encouraging other women out there to join the campaign for us to empower women to drive. It may have only recently been created, but this trucking company has big ambitions for the future. Drivers like Abigail want to set a precedent in the country that they hope will pave the way for change in other industries and sectors.